To create a Google Doc, let's go ahead and log into Jeffco's Google Apps. And this actually takes me to my Drive landing page where I have all my files listed that are being stored online. And most of these, nearly all of these, are documents that I made with the Google Doc suite. And to make a new Google Doc, I can use the red Create button over on the left. If I select this button, you'll see I not only can make documents from this tool, I can also create presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and drawings. So for this example, let's go ahead and select Document. And Google will create an untitled document for you. And probably the first thing you want to do is to give the document a specific name. So to change the name of the document, just hover over the existing title of the document, which in this case is untitled, and left click with your mouse. Brings up a window to rename the document. And then select the OK button. So as soon as I give my document a name, and even when it's untitled, it all it automatically starts being tracked in my Google Drive. So I just switched back over to the storage part. You'll see Chapter 2 Questions is already in here, and Google is auto-saving my work. So if I tr go ahead and try and type something, I'm just going to type some nonsense text. Above the toolbar, you'll see Google is saving. And if I stop typing, I'll get a message that all my changes are saved. Google's auto-save feature is wonderful. If the power goes out, if someone kicks out the plug to your computer, you don't have to worry about losing your work. At most, you've maybe lost a whole two seconds of what you last typed. Another thing you'll notice about Google Docs is that the format, the layout, is very much like Microsoft Word. So there's the file menu and edit and insert. So under the insert menu, I can insert an image. There are also shortcuts across the toolbar. Here's a faster way for me to insert images. And we will explore all of these tools in greater depth in our next tasks. So for this task, simply set up a new Google document, rename your document with something specific, and on the next page we will explore different ways you can share that document.